Hey G-Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today episode we got this cool I'm right here and basically what this is is a non-stick frying pan that's from a brand called Michelangelo. So basically in my previous video I actually reviewed a few other products from this brand before but this time we do have a non-stick frying pan so I'm actually opening this up to show you guys what the inside looks like. Alright, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So see how the product is all nicely wrapped up and it do give you guys a rubber band to hold the lid together with the actual pan in the bottom. But let's take off all the wrappers and everything first. All right, so the first thing that we got right here is actual lid. If you guys can see, it's actual glass. And for the top part, we do have this very nice kind of smooth wooden lid. And right here, we do have the hole for the steam to come out. And I love the way how they designed the handle part for the lid because it's like a flat bottom. So that we can just put it on the table like this if you guys want to. So that is the first thing that's included inside, which is the actual lid. And next up right here, we do have the actual frying pan. So let's take it out. All right, so once you guys take it out, inside they probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to use it and how to maintain it. But right here, if you see, we do have the actual product. If you see the way how they designed the pan is actually pretty cool. It has this very nice kind of galaxy look to it. And like I mentioned, the material that's on here it is a non-stick coating. So that way, when you guys are cooking stuff like your eggs or something, it shouldn't stick on. Top part, if you can see, we do have a very nice wooden handle. And it do give you guys a little hole for you guys to hang it somewhere if you guys want to. And if you guys look at the other side of the handle, they do give you guys an option to unscrew it to take it off if you guys do need to. And when you guys feel the material, it definitely feels like a high quality material that they use on here. If you guys turn to the back, here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So see the bottom pan, they do have the Michelangelo brand. And the way how they design the bottom of the pan allows you guys to use it for almost any kind of stove top. Where there's like gas stove top, induction cooktop, and the list goes on. And they mentioned the way how you clean it is actually really easy. Once you guys finish using it, you guys can use like a paper towel or like a towel in general just to wipe it off really easily. And when you guys do feel the material on here, it sounds so smooth because of the stone coating that they have on here that looks really nice and feels really nice as well. And if you guys are curious about the size that we got, this one is a 12 inch. They do have this available in other size as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer. And also, if you guys notice the one that we got right here, it is a black color. They also have this available in white as well. So if you guys do prefer white, you can get that instead. So here is basically what the frying pan looks like. If you guys put the lid on top, here is basically what the final product looks like when you guys put everything together. And when you guys feel the overall weight of the product, it is pretty lightweight, especially if you guys don't have the lid on. Once you guys do put on the lid, it feels a little bit heavier. I think the actual lid itself is actually heavier than the frying pan. But that is everything that's on the product. Let me actually go wash the product and then we'll test it out to show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. So the way how you guys wash it is actually very simple. In terms of lid, you can definitely use the hard side right here or the sponge to wash it. But when you guys are washing a non-stick layer, you guys want to use the soft side. So let me show you guys how to wash the inside first. Get some water on here. You just want to use the soft side to kind of wash it. You definitely want to use the soap for the first time to kind of make sure it's clean before I use it. You want to clean both the outside and also the inside as well. Alright, so once you guys put the soap on top, you guys want to rinse it. And because the product has a non-stick coating, a non-stick layer on here, the water comes off really easily. Alright, so once you guys finish washing it, then it's all set to start using it. So you do have the option to let it kind of dry up by itself or you guys can use a towel to wipe out the bottom part so that way the water doesn't stick onto the bottom. Alright, so just like that, it has all set. So for the lid, you can definitely use the hard side to actually wash it if you guys want to. But for me, I still prefer using the soft side just so that I don't scratch anything on here. You guys want to wash the middle part and also the side as well. And also the outer layer, that way everything is clean before I use it for the first time. All right, so that should be good. Now to rinse it. And you can also use a towel to wipe this down if you guys want to as well. Like I mentioned, the way how to design the bottom part allows you guys to put it onto a flat surface. Just like that, really easily. So once you guys finish washing it, then it's all set to start using it. So for this test, I'm gonna use my induction cooktop that you see right here. But like I mentioned, if you guys wanna use it for your gas stove top or anything else, it does work as well. But before we test it out, I wanna show you guys the other pan that I have. So this is the other pan that I mentioned earlier that I also got from the Michelangelo brand, which is also a non-stick pan. So here is the lid that I provided for you guys, which has the same design, where you put it down on a flat surface really easily. They also have the little hole for the steam to come out really easy as well. And if you guys look at the inner layer, 
Here is basically what the inside looks like. The outer layer has this very smooth kind of texture and the bottom layer actually has the same kind of design where it's used for induction cooktops and also the gas stove top and other stove top as well. You can see how we do have the brand logo in the bottom. And the way how to design the handle part is different. It's not like a wooden material. I believe this is like a stainless steel material. This is literally my go-to pan that I use every single day for cooking everything, whether it's like veggies, noodles, or whatever. But for this test, I want to show you guys this one. So let's test it out to show you guys how it works and whether or not a non-stick coating on here works as well. So I think for this test, I'm probably gonna just fry some eggs on here to show you guys the non-stick layer on here. So let's turn on the fire first to kind of warm it up. So when you got the cooking stuff on like a non-stick pan, you definitely want to use like a silicone material or something. So that way you guys won't scratch the surface. Because if you guys use something else that's like a stainless steel material, it will scratch the surface of the coating. All right, so let's spray a little bit of oil on here. All right, so that should be good. Let's turn down the fire a little bit. And let's crack our egg on top. All right, let's try to move it around. You can see how the spotted slides off so easily because of the non-stick coating that's on here. So you guys can see the non-stick coating on here definitely works pretty well. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to use a lid, just cover it. And that way can cook a lot faster if you guys want to, especially when you guys are like frying stuff or if you guys are like steaming stuff in here, you do have the option available. But since we're just frying eggs right now, we don't need to cover it. And flip it. And once you guys are done cooking it, you guys will move it to one side and let it cool down before you guys actually clean it. So let's turn it off and pour it onto a plate. All right, so here we have the plate. If you just pour it on top. You can see how it comes off so easily. But here is basically what the final product looks like once you guys finish using it. All right, welcome back guys. So that's a quick test of product definitely actually does work and should work quite well. If you can see when we use the pan, the non-stick coating layer on here definitely works really well. If you see how the food doesn't stick onto the pan and I can move it around really easily. So obviously in order for you guys to maintain that non-stick coating on here, you do need to follow the instruction correctly in terms of how to clean it. So you can see in the bottom of the instruction manual right here, they do provide guys all the tips in terms of how to maintain the product. If you guys want to make sure it lasts longer. So if you guys don't follow the instruction correctly, then it won't last as long. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality non-stick frying pan. They also provide you guys a lid like the one that we got right here. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.